Okay, I just want to talk a little bit here about an initial tension. So let, let's say the, the, the pulley isn't uh, rotating at all. So the belt is on and, and it's tightened up to uh, an initial tension, T0. And then we start up the pulley and, and it begins to rotate and we'll get a tight side you know, as it, as it rotates away. This, this will be in tension and this will be in compression. So this will become tighter. So this tension here will increase a bit. So the tension T1 will be our initial tension plus some change in tension. Okay, And on the slack side, uh, the tension T2 will be our initial tension minus uh, a little bit. Okay, So whatever we add on here, we have to subtract here. Okay, so if I rearrange this then, I get that that change in tension uh, is what we started at to what, to what we end up with. And on this side, it should also be equal to what we started with to what we end up with on the slack side. So these then two must, each, must equal each other. So T1 minus T0 is equal to T0 minus T2. So I want to bring the T0 to, to one side. So... When I bring this across, I get 2t0, and this becomes t1 plus t2. And I can then say that the initial tension is t1 plus t2 over 2. Okay, it's the average uh, tension of, of both of those. Right. So uh, that's what you would tension the belt to. Generally, this is the maximum tension uh, that you can get, and this will be determined then by uh, by this guy.